yo what is up y'all welcome back to another video here on the channel and in this one what we're going to be talking about is a brand new moc to moc give cars to friends glitch here in gta 5 online using the new sp map online glitch all right guys so uh yeah we're gonna basically go ahead and get right into it now i will be showing you guys the solo method for the sp map online glitch all right guys uh, so yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please feel free to smash that like button. And if you guys are new around here, also consider subscribing as well. It really would help out the channel. All right. Uh, now to get into some requirements, all you guys are going to really need is a MOC with a personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. And in the back of the MOC, you'll want a free LG or Fagio or any vehicle you do not mind losing stored in the back of the MOC. All right. Uh, that's pretty much all you guys will need. All right. From there, what we're going to do is go ahead and set our spawn location to last location just outside of the casino here. All right, guys, uh, so we so uh, we do spawn up here next to the casino when we come back from glitching out. OK, guys, uh, so go ahead and set your spawn location to last location. If you are just setting your spawn location, I suggest to create a game save by changing an outfit or something like that. OK, go ahead and hit pause, go to online and head into creator mode. All right, guys. Once you are in to, uh, the creator here, all right, this is where the 100% solo method comes into play. Uh, this is uh, very simple to do, guys. You guys should have no problems with this at all. But once we have the creator menu on the screen here, what we need to do is, if you do not have one already, we need to go ahead and create a capture job. All right, this is very easy to do. I will not show you how to do that in this video, but it is very easy to do. It will take you a couple minutes. Uh, I do already have a capture created, all right? Uh, so I'm just going to go into my... Uh, creations here and load up my uh, capture job that I already have created okay uh, it is very easy to create guys like I said it only take you a couple minutes to do it uh, so you should have no problem doing that all right but what you want to do is make sure you can test it all right so what you want to do is either load up your creation or if you did just create it make sure you can test it uh, and you're gonna go ahead and click on test as you can see here all of uh, all of the things for the job here are basically in one area I just went ahead and quickly made a job uh, but go ahead and test the capture job. All right, once you are in the test, uh, go ahead and hold down on the D-pad and exit the test. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and back out, uh, click on exit here, and head back to the creator menu, okay? Uh, the reason we need to do this is that way we can get an alert here in just a second. If we did not do that, uh, a certain alert that we need will not pop up. Once you are back at the creator screen, you're going to hover over exit to GTA 5. You're going to then go ahead and find a recent activity that says start GTA online from either your profile or the what's new section. Uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on start GTA online from that recent activity. Once you have the alert on screen just like this, you're going to go ahead and get ready to disconnect your internet. On PlayStation 4, you can use your double tap. Uh, go ahead and come back to the game. All right, then you're going to spam X through the alerts. All right, so spam X uh, a good four or five times uh, to spam through all the alerts. And then as soon as you see quitting, uh, creator immediately double tap your PlayStation home button and disconnect internet and then immediately reconnect the internet uh, Then come back to the game uh, and as you see here your screen should be frozen a little bit here uh, And it will say quitting creator down in the bottom right now What's gonna happen here is you will go to a black screen just like this and what should happen is that uh, quitting creator should switch to joining GTA online uh, which is perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. As you see here, it did just switch to joining GTA Online. Uh, so yeah, perfect, guys. Exactly what we need. Uh, now, once it comes back to the clouds here, you will be in the clouds for roughly two minutes or so. I did skip forward a little bit, guys, for the sake of the video here. But uh, you will be in the clouds for roughly two minutes, so keep that in mind. Uh, but like I said, I did skip forward a little bit here, so we are about to spawn back down here. All right. Now you'll notice once you're spawning back down, you'll actually spawn down from the clouds a little bit slow. Uh, so that is a good indication to know that you did hit it. Uh, and as you can see here already, uh, you, the first thing you should notice is you have the story mode uh, casino online. All right. So you do have the single player map online now, which is perfect. All right. That's exactly what we're looking for. And now that we have the SP map online, we are good to go to start receiving vehicles from our friend. So we're going to go ahead and have our friend uh, join the session here. If you are doing the uh, solo method for the SP map online, you will be thrown into a public session. So I suggest for you and your friend to have your MTU settings set to 800 and that will allow you to be in a solo public. All right, guys. Uh, but what we need to do here, all right, now that we have our friend here, he went ahead and pulled out the car he's giving us and his MOC. 
uh, make sure that he does have the personal vehicle storage as well. Uh, we went ahead and grabbed our MOC. We need to go ahead and request for the LG from the back of the MOC here. And all we're going to do is pull up to the back end here and uh, hit right D-pad to bring it into the MOC. Now we're going to get a little bit of a black screen here. What's going to happen is we will end up uh, getting a glitched out screen after this black screen here. Uh, once we are on the glitched out screen, just like this, all we're going to do is bring open the interactions menu, go down to kill, your, kill yourself. Uh, so select the option to take the easy way out here. Uh, and then once you respawn from killing yourself, uh, just go ahead and run back to your MOC. Uh, now there is a chance that your MOC might be bouncing around a little bit and, and not allowing you to get in it. If that is the case, you go ahead and just kill yourself again and that should fix it. Um, but as you see here, uh, we do have the old MOC uh, here or whatnot on top of this one. So we need to go ahead and move it uh, and basically make sure that this is in a open space here. All right, so make sure it is in an open space where there's nothing surrounding the back end or where the blue circle is. Uh, and then once you have it in position, just go ahead and jump into the vehicle your friend is giving you. Just like you see me doing here. Uh, once I jump in here, I'm going to also show you what my friend is going to be doing. Your friend is going to go ahead or the giver is going to go ahead and run into the back of their MOC and prepare to send you an invite to the MOC. Okay. Uh, what you need to do is pull the vehicle here to the back of your MOC. As you can see, it says that we are unable to enter the MOC. Uh, what you're going to do is have your friend send you a MOC invite to their MOC. Once you have the invite, go ahead and just accept it while you are here by the blue circle. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a black screen just like this. Once you spawn up from the black screen, uh, you should be in the vehicle uh, still just like this. Uh, you're just going to sit in the vehicle and you're going to wait for roughly 10 to 20 seconds or so, something like that. Uh, then what's going to happen is you'll get another black screen. Uh, and then once you come back from this black screen here, guys, what you need to do is uh, go ahead and kill yourself. All right. Uh, so you're going to see here once I spawn up, I'm going to go ahead and kill myself. Um, what's going to happen here? Uh, most likely is you guys will end up being in the vehicle still just go ahead and jump out run away a little bit and kill yourself here i'm just going to go ahead and kill myself um since i was not in the vehicle uh but nonetheless you're going to kill yourself and once you spawn back up uh basically that's all there is to it all right once you spawn back up the vehicle is now uh officially yours all right as you can see here uh we do have the icon on the map as our personal vehicle and my friend's vehicle uh his copy is still right here as well now, um, for some reason, my friend here ended up falling through the map uh, once I accepted his MOC invite. Uh, so they ended up spawning here near the dock. So that's why I'm showing you that right there. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, guys, that is pretty much all there is to it. Uh, this is officially now my vehicle that my friend has given me here. Uh, of course, he still has his copy as well. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and return this vehicle to storage. And just, just to show you guys so you can see visually here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I am ordering a vehicle to my MOC. Uh, and you guys will see that this slam truck is now in the back of my MOC. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that is it, guys. It is now saved. It is now your vehicle. Uh, and it's just that easy uh, to do the new uh, MOC to MOC give cars to friends glitch here in GTA 5 Online. That is going to cover it for this one here. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I do highly appreciate y'all for staying tuned in. This has been your boy, Hi Guy, And until the next one, I'm out. Peace.